Welcome to another PACCAR Powertrain Knowledge Minute. This video covers adjusting valves on the MX-13 EPA 2017 only. This includes engine model years 2017 through 2020. For safety reasons, the battery should be disconnected as you begin the valve adjustment procedure. This will also protect vital electrical components. After cleaning dust, dirt, and debris from around the valve cover, remove the bolts that attach the valve cover to the valve train casing, which is the separate lower part of the valve cover. One of the PACCAR MX engine special tools is the 1903018 engine cranking tool. This should be used to align the appropriate marks on the flywheel for adjusting the valves. On this engine, the crankshaft will have to be rotated six times in 120 degree increments to adjust all the valves. There are three stop positions on the flywheel and front pulley related to adjusting the valves. These are 1, 6, 2, 5, and 3, 4. You can position the crank in any of these three positions to start the valve adjustment process. Once you stop on a mark, you will need to adjust the valves on whichever of the two cylinders has no open valves. The valve adjustments on the EPA 2017 MX-13 engine are done with a standard adjusting screw and lock nut. Select the intake rocker and check the clearance. Refer to Packer MX service documentation for the correct clearance specification. Since a small amount of residual oil between the rocker and the valve bridge, or between the rocker and the push tube, can affect the measurement, be sure to toggle the rocker before taking the measurement. If adjustment is required, loosen the lock nut and with an Allen wrench, loosen or tighten the adjusting screw as needed. Be sure to check the adjustment each time you move either the adjusting screw or the lock nut. Even though you take care to make sure there is no movement, Small movements can affect accuracy. Torque the locking nut firmly. As this video is being produced, that torque is 64 newton meters or 47 foot pounds. However, you should always check in Rapido for any torque updates. The adjustment point for the intake valve is between the rocker foot pad and the valve bridge. Since the exhaust rocker on the EPA 2017 MX-13 contains most of the engine brake components, it is extremely important to clear the oil from these hydraulic components by pressing firmly a couple of times on the valve bridge end of the rocker. This is necessary to clear the residual oil before checking the gap. Now this is where there is a significant difference between checking the exhaust valve adjustment on the EPA 2017 MX-13 and checking the intake valves. Instead of adjusting the exhaust valve between the rocker foot and the valve bridge, the adjustment is between the top of the plate on the lost motion shaft and the bottom of the rocker. The exhaust valve adjustment should be made very carefully. Take a little extra time to make sure it is correct. Special tool 2124332 should be used to check the adjustment on the exhaust valves on the EPA 2017 MX-13 engine. This tool surrounds the lost motion shaft and makes checking and adjusting easier and more accurate. As with the intake valve, the gap should be checked several times as the adjusting and tightening of the lock nut takes place. Clean the gasket retention groove and install a new valve cover gasket. Reinstall the valve cover on the valve train casing. Run the valve cover bolts down gently, evenly, and snugly. You can do this by hand or with a power tool. But if you use a power tool, remember the final tightening must be with a torque wrench. At the time of producing this video, the final torque on the valve cover should be about 9 newton meters, which is 80 inch pounds or 6.6 .6 foot pounds. Be sure to check PACCAR powertrain documentation before you start the job to determine if this spec has changed. As a final step in the process, reconnect the batteries. It is recommended that you follow the truck manufacturer's recommendations on the torque spec for the battery connections. RMI is the ultimate source of technical information for PACCAR engines. This is where maintenance and repair jobs are detailed for service technicians.